Hello Xavier here, welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Essentials video and today we are going to continue making the uh, Punica Forest that we did last time. Now last time we worked on the Punica Forest entrance, I did change the name to Punica Forest just so I can like, get rid of the complication of uh, the map and how the map's going to look. So I'm just going to start making the Punica Forest. I did make a rough sketch again on my phone. I'm going to show you a picture right now. This is what it is. I'm just going to do a time lapse again like I did last time and then I'll be explaining uh, some of the details and finer details of what is going to happen with the forest and the placements of stuff and etc etc. You'll see a few changes probably because I do have a few extra things up on top of my head besides just a sketch. So let's just jump right into this and we're going to start making it by of course going to a new map and then we're going to get the exact width of this one as well so this one's a width of 46 so I'm gonna go with a width of 46 with the new map so 46 and this one's actually gonna be a little bit bigger so I'm gonna put a higher 50 um, and hopefully that should be good if not we'll fix it up later and you know we'll go from there so I'll see you guys once I'm done with this but of course you will see the time lapse I'll see you guys there
Alright guys, so here's the final result that I've come up with. I took it a lot longer than the other one because I was thinking uh, revision, all that, and I wanted to make sure it felt like a forest. So like on the top mountain area on the left, uh, it was quite flat when I finished it up, but I put a lot more trees in there to make sure that um, it, it felt like a forest. Uh, let me fix this up real quick. That's why we, uh, we got to double check, you know? <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, I, I now can see it feels a lot more like a forest, seeing it from here, it feels a lot more like a forest. And of course, whenever you're in the game, it is going to have a darker uh, shadow overlay on top of it, meaning, uh, you know, the trees are going to be looking out into it. So you'll be able to see some shadows. I'm also going to add some bushes, but I'm going to have to do that offhand because I don't think I have any bush um, bush stuff here, like any bush bushes here. Besides this Pokemon one here. But I want to add some bushes and then th those bushes are going to be a special effect. And then I'm going to add a lot more things, not just the rocks here. Uh, I'm going to try to find some barks or stuff that I can add here and there. Probably move a, a few things around. Uh, some areas do feel congested, especially this area here. That's why I kept on changing this area in particular over here um, by the trees here. And I wanted to move that but I'm, I'm gonna have to figure out what I'm gonna do with this because this area does feel a little bit congested it's just a straight past I'll probably put a few trainers there uh, there'll be trainers in here as well but that's basically my plan but hey guys uh, make sure to leave a comment like the video uh, let me know what you think of the forest if you guys have any ideas or thoughts of what I could change or add to it please let me know and I'll see what I can do about it uh, but after that, just uh, yeah, just comment and see what we're going to be working on next. Uh, we're definitely going to be working on the town next, but I have to figure out a layout for that. It's going to be a little bit harder because it is a town. So unlike the forests and routes where they can be uh, on, uh, you know, uneven, then you know, compared to the actual towns, you have to make those a bit more straight and organized because you know people live there and that's what you think about and here in the forest pokemon live there people don't really live here so nothing's organized everything's kind of all over the place but yeah please let me know what you guys think about it uh leave down a comment and like the video share the video and uh yeah just thank you guys for watching we'll see you guys in the next video see ya